Good morning everyone. It's a little windy today and we might get a little bit more rain which will be nice. Um, I just don't want it to get windy like it did the other night. That was that was a little much but uh, I still have all my dahlias tied up, staked up <clears throat> and uh, if the weather does good, we'll uh, be able to maybe take the stakes off next week. We'll see how that goes. Lots of dahlias coming up. And my first gazinia came out last night. It must come out in the evenings, maybe. It opened up and, oh, it was so pretty. You can go to my shorts to see what it looked like. It was really pretty. Seniors are all doing good and everything and I think I kind of figured out why my uh, Budleia back here isn't blooming and I think it's just not enough sun because it's taller than me now and it's reaching for the sun is what it's doing. So uh, sometimes plants will do that. They'll just keep growing until they reach the sun and then pop, pops out a bud. But it will be pretty when it does bloom. Of course, today there's no sun. Everything is looking really pretty. If we look at the back side of my garden, I just think it's really pretty. They look this way because the sun. I've got some tomatoes I could probably pick. Some of my vivacious ones <clears throat> are turning orange. And that's the color they are. Beans. I may wait another day to pick them. I don't know. I might get out here today and pick some. <clears throat> peppers. We keep getting peppers. Not in abundance, but enough for to keep up with my husband and me. And uh, this Collius has grown to be so beautiful. Just beautiful. Of course, this Kalia, she got whipped around a lot the other day. She's got lots of blooms. Asters are looking really pretty. I love that color of pink. And the yellow and the purple. The, the gumfrinas are just, they don't stop. The, uh, the status is coming back. I clipped, I cut it all off pretty much the other day. And it's all re stalking and gonna bloom to again this is something that just grew up in my garden and I put it in my plant it's an evening primrose so I'm anxious to see what it looks like it's gotten real tall the zinnias over here they keep getting taller I keep telling them the taller you get the more sun you get so come on <laughs> But I think they'll bloom this fall, which will be nice. I like having, making sure to have flowers up in the fall. And this Cosmo has grown almost, almost to the top to the trellis. And she puts on some pretty blooms. And this uh, Ampomia is uh, doing okay. She hasn't bloomed again but I thought it would be a nice accent for the cosmos. Here's my hibiscus. She's really pretty today. She has bushed out really nice. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get a bigger pot to put her in. Hopefully she makes the winter. I may stick her in the greenhouse and that way it's not so harsh on her, but she's a hardy one. She can take the winters here so that's good I hope you like the garden that I showed you the other day uh, Kevin's garden um, is pretty cool one big garden in his backyard full of veggies and a couple flowers he's got the coleus and stuff and this is the mint she's blooming and growing like crazy so I put her back here so she has space to do whatever she wants as long as she doesn't get into the yard <laughs> which it's not much of a yard because it's the yard is weed 
is not weed free. It's got a lot of weeds in it and she can do whatever she wants back here. And I'll cut her back once in a while. I'll pull this. It's not that I don't like these kind of weeds, but they get a little bit obnoxious sometimes. So, LaGuardia is looking pretty. She's doing really well. The impatience and uh, this impatient that I thought was dead and it grew back. <laughs> My Mandevillas is doing okay. They got a little shaken up, and I need to probably put them in a better pot. I want to try to w winter them over. Whoops, I'm sorry, Lucy. I need to tend to them a little bit, maybe give them a little fertilizer, and because uh, they got pretty shaken up the other night. I'll get them cleaned up. This one especially, the pink one doing really well. She's still blooming, but this one is like scared, I think. <laughs> Don't do that to me, what you did to me the other day. And uh, up front, <clears throat> we've got the nasturtiums, and these came back really nice. The Catalina Gilded Grape. I didn't bring my scissors. <laughs> Sometimes I just carry some scissors. But they have a lot of blooms on them. They need deadheaded a little bit, I think. I haven't deadheaded them too much. The, uh, uh, Barberry bushes, they're starting, their leaves are starting to turn. Yeah, they will be real pretty this fall. They get like a red and um, they put berries on. So they're going to be real pretty this fall. And uh, my allium, I'm just letting it go. I'm going to let it go until it kind of dies back and I'll cut it down. Um, I'm gonna let it soak up all the sun it can so it will spread. Black pearl pepper is so getting so big and pretty. She probably really needed to be in the ground, but I just didn't have place for her. Uh, my little hostas are all doing good. I probably need to cut back, cut the blooms back. <clears throat> and um, yeah, there's a little bit of midsummer work I need to do. And then I have uh, over here, these are going to bloom soon. Finally, they finally sprouted up. I think they'll bloom this fall. It's coming. Fall is coming. It's uh, mid-July. She finally bloomed again. Isn't that so pretty? That my New Guinea impatient. This one I didn't get to. I'm gonna have to take her out of here. She's she got too much water during the big rain we had. She's got some nice leaves on her still, but I don't know, they don't feel very stiff. They feel a little flimsy. I just need to clean her up and see, maybe put some different dirt, maybe take her into the uh, greenhouse for a little bit, for a little while. This is starting to, my mom's starting to bloom out. It's early, but maybe it'll be stay bloomed for a long time. My hydrangea is starting to dry up some blooms, but then she's got more pretty ones. And this is all doing fantastic. This is doing great. I cut back all my alyssum. And it's all coming back. I cut this way back the other day. And look, it just like flushed right back out. And real pretty. Real pretty. <clears throat> and the celosia looks like it's the front line of this little garden of uh, a stilby. Yep, she took right over. <laughs> but the stilby is still here. It'll be prettier next year, I think. Oh, it's, I don't know. I don't know what stage, I don't know what a stilby looks like, how many, what kind of stages their blooms go through. 
but uh, we'll see what happens there. Let's see the bunny grass. I probably ought to cut it and let it dry. And I need to cut these back. My new plants are coming up really well over here. I'm going to see if it rains today. And if it doesn't, I'm going to go ahead and water them again. Because it doesn't really get the rain. Depends on how the, which way the wind blows. And I need to, I need to uh, cut these back and harvest some of these to put upside down. And I'm going to do it in the basement in the dark this time. See if they'll keep their color for me. And here we go with the pretty dahlia over here. And this one, we are just waiting. We're just waiting for her to pop out. I can't wait to see the blooms on this. I haven't seen the blooms yet on the Emery Paul. And all of this looks very healthy and happy, except for this Facelia. It just, I don't know if it's because of this, uh, grass but it just didn't do well over here it it bloomed a little bit it was kind of pretty maybe it's just not the right spot for her I think if I try I think I still have some facilia seed and next year and you have to uh, direct seed it it doesn't like its roots messed with the best way they say is to direct seed so next year I'll just put in some but I won't put it in here. I'll find her a better spot. Maybe in the garden, because I've got a lot of holes in the garden. And my, this has gotten really pretty. My uh, begonia, my um, Pegasus begonia. She's so pretty. Oh, she's got blooms. She has some blue, or buds, buds anyway. She got some buds. And this is gonna be ready to go into the ground. Sometimes <laughs> there was one that, uh, I don't know what kind of bugs those are, but I don't want them in the, my little tree. There we go. Hopefully she grows some more. She kind of stopped growing, so we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping it's going to be good for my son and daughter-in-law. And uh, the ear guam, you can tell, has been eaten on a lot this year. The bugs really took to it. This one is still pretty fresh, and this one's starting to die back, so I'll probably cut it back and leave this one until it dies back too. Cacti is putting on new plates, and I have my crazy wild <laughs> mums, chrysanthemums. They're, they should be really pretty this year because they're just going crazy. And I have a Budleia bud, or Budleia butterfly bush that has a bud on it. Isn't that nice? It must be getting enough sun back here. You know, they are reaching for it, that's for sure. <laughs> They're reaching for the sun. And I, uh, this is where I took that chocolate mint out and I noticed on the ground this was just laying there. I'm pretty sure it's an impatient. So they must be dropping seeds uh, from one of the plants. That's what I'm thinking anyway. It looks like an impatient. Yeah, it's got the same leaves. So it should be an impatient. The volunteer petunia, the volunteer catnip, the volunteer snapdragons, um, all doing well in here. They bloom and then they die off and they bloom again. My verbena wasn't as pretty this year. 
Oh my goodness, she got a lot of water in her. That's what the problem is probably now. Good grief. So I just put her in the ground. I might do that. I might just go put her in the garden in an empty spot. I put some zinnia seeds out there in a couple, about three places out here with open spots. I thought maybe um, they'd have time to grow. We'll see. My Persian shield is really, I love this. It just looks so, so fresh, so pretty. And of course the catnip. And this, this one is doing okay. It's growing. And she got some little tiny buds, but not doing it really well. But she was just a little stem, I think, when I got her. And my sedum bloomed this year. This alyssum bloomed a little bit, but not much. She doesn't get enough sun, so that's why. Oh, I've got a black-eyed Susan growing up in here. <laughs> we'll just let her grow. And these poppies are really blooming. They're just kind of a, just kind of in the wind, you know. Because, you know, um, I'm not formal. I am not, I don't really, I think the for, formal gardens are really pretty. I really think they're very pretty. But I'm just not really into that mine are more i like the wildflower look and I, but i do love some of the real pretty flowers like dahlias and zinnias and stuff like that but i don't there's an ant getting in there i don't want no ants these ants I don't know if Kansas is about on the verge of getting uh, fire ants, but last night I noticed in my greenhouse, they were all over. I had a uh, colander <clears throat> with my harvested catnip in it to dry. And I also had a little bowl for the seeds that I had chopped off. And um, I picked that colander up and just ants just spread real quick and they're fast they're really really fast like fire ants are but they're little little black ants and they will bite you so I got the spray out and I sprayed all over my greenhouse because they are so many of them I you know I didn't want to get it out of control it was nice not having them around there for a while so anyway, let me. I sprayed them and it calmed them down and I got them. I had to go through all my, I had to go through all my catnip leaves to make sure there were no uh, ants in it because there were ants coming out of it. And I was like, so I put it in another container and made sure there were no ants because I didn't want to take any ants inside the house. So now they're inside the house in paper bags. I've got one with the uh, seeds and one with the and leaves. So let's get this picked off. I'm probably shaking you around all over today. I'm sorry. It's just um, I want to get some things done before the rain comes and If we get any rain, we may not get any rain. And this is kind of shading my new plants. So I'm just going to call it quits on this one too. I'll leave that one. And I, I'll need to get a stake to stake her up. I just love these leaves. They're so pretty in a bunch. They can make their own bouquet.
See, you could put this like at the edge of a of a vase, you know, with your flowers up top. Let me see if I got a little one, you know, something like this, and then have a couple other colors of flowers in there, like orange and yellow and a dahlia to go with it. But that would be so pretty. There we go. And you know the little green, when they're little tender green uh, leaves on it before it gets to this stage, when it starts out, the little green leaves are edible. You can put them in a salad. I'm probably going to have to water back here. I'll go put this in the uh, chipping area. All right, here we go. We're heading to the greenhouse. And I need to get a stake for that one to get it to stand up better. Get that squirrel, Lucy. Get the squirrel. Oh. <laughs> when she was younger, she had a squirrel by the tail. She was pretty fast when she was younger, before she had children, before she had kittens. Okay, I hope there's no ants crawling all over anything in here. I don't see any. Oh yeah, I do. A couple. These plants um, were just, they were, uh, they were falling off the the main plant the mother plant they were falling off and um i just put some root grow on them and put them in some water for about a week and then you know this one it was all it was blooming and everything and then i finally decided why don't i just put dirt around it and maybe they will grow roots because they weren't growing any roots they're still living. They're still going. It's been a couple weeks since I did that. So, okay. I don't want ants all over my stuff. So, I'm going to put it up here on my shelf. Ants have been the biggest problem this year so far. Oh, I took my little cup in. I took my little glass in. Hmm. I'm just going to put this in some water. I'm going to put this over here real quick. I'm just going to go put this in a vase of water or container of water. For now, anyway. And then maybe I'll add to the, va add to the container later. A friend of ours, um, her mother had to go to nursing home. And she was given getting rid of stuff she'd had estate sales and garage sales and she had a bunch of she collected pictures I believe and this is one of them I think it's so darling it's just so cute I just love it and then we have this one this one's real pretty I need to put some water in it put some of that flower crystals flower crystals in it some water yeah and then I'll put something else in with it later. A little later. I probably have a little short flower or something I could put in there. All right, well. Um, oh, let's go stick up the... Stake up. Stake up, stick up. My last amaranthus. It hasn't really bloomed yet, so... I. I think it was that really tiny, tiny, tiny one that I didn't know would, if it would uh, <laughs> make it. I don't know which one would be better. This might be okay too. 
And I need a... Oh, I could probably put this stick and lean, lean it right up against the stick. It'd be just fine. Uh, so quiet today a little bit. Got quiet all of a sudden. Okay. Here we go. Let's help you a little bit. That's it around there. Oh boy, you got a big, thick stem. <laughs> that this dirt is so uh what do you call it it's uh very thin like it's almost sandy or something and it really a pretty leaf It doesn't keep water very well. Oh, I'd better go cut these. Oh, good. I brought my scissors. Sometimes my scissors are just easier than my clippers. Oh, I got another little tiny amaranthus growing there. Isn't that crazy? It's just tiny, tiny, tiny. Can you see it? A little tiny amaranthus right there. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I'm going to cut this. I hate to, but I'm going to chop you down. I'll hang her upside down and see how that works. They didn't give me very many seed for the bunny grass, so... And that's already dead. I don't know if it comes back next year, but uh, that's all right. I'm going to plant more of it next year. We'll do that. Okay. Get the squirrel, Simba. Get the squirrel. Get that squirrel. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today at Regina's Plot. I really appreciate you all. I appreciate you subscribing and hitting the bell and for more. And uh, you just never know what, what I might be talking about. Um, but I try to put that all in the title. And um, every day is a different day. So you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now and take care.